Okay, so let's begin about how to capture the reader's attention. So if you'll notice in the introduction, we have three lines here, three sentences that we're going to use to capture the reader's attention. So the way you do that is you choose one of many ways. One is you use a shocking statement. The world will end in 30 days. Uh, you introduce with fact or fiction facts or figures or tell a joke or paint a word picture. Let me just be caution you that you never use a second person in, in a, an expository essay ever. So that means you're never going to use the word you or you're never going to use an implied you. Um, so these are some examples. So what we call this is the hook. You want to hook your reader into your um, into your essay. And so you've got three sentences in the first paragraph that you choose some kind of um, hook to get them to read your, 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 your whole essay. Um, so what we're going to do right now um, is figure out when you do this. Now, when I write an essay, I would say probably 90% of the time when I write an essay, I save the introduction for the very last. I will go and write the entire body of the paragraph of the essay first, the middle, middle paragraphs. And then I will write the um, summary, the conclusion. And then I'll write the introduction because the introduction to me is one of the hardest parts um, because you have to be creative and you don't have any, anything just like directly and you want to make it make it something that causes somebody to want to read it. So on your outline, you should have downloaded the blank outline um, and you should have your subtopics, your topic on there. You should have your thesis statement on there. So now on that outline, you should go in and you should come up with um, one or two word, um, one or two word items on, on your paragraph, on your outline, there's cars out there and I'm trying to figure out why, why they're stopped in front of my driveway. So I can't think um, of why you want, what you're gonna do to capture your reader's attention. So that is the, the next thing that you should do. So you should have at this point, your blank outline, the subtopics listed, the thesis statement written, and now you should include six words for the top three sentences, what you're gonna talk about. And you can go ahead and fill in um, on introduce the topic, you can fill in number four too and just write the topic. So you're not writing sentences yet, you're just writing an outline. So one or two words for next to number one in the introduction, one or two words next to number two in introduction, and one or two words next to number three on introduction. And that should get you caught up to where you need to be um, for your introduction on your outline. <clears throat> 